Schools are back in session and welcoming more than just new students. Many are trying new ways to teach. Can you go on to your social studies book? And One school starting this year with no textbooks. Stepanak High School, just north of New York City, says it's the first school in the U.S. to go completely digital. Students are able to access any grade level of any textbook that we offer. So, for example, in math, if they're in 11th grade and they need a brush up on quadratic equations, they can go back to their ninth grade textbook. Stepanak introduced the digital library last year, and for James Mitchell, it just clicked. What do you like the most about the digital library? I like the fact that it's all there. Like, I don't have to go through textbook to textbook, leaving one at school, leaving one at home, switching from my locker and whatnot, carrying a giant backpack full of books. It helps the 11th graders stay organized. And I actually feel like I'm learning more with it, and I'm actually understanding. My grades could definitely prove that. Not only is it a, a literal stress off my back because of my backpack, but it's just way easier to have it all on your computer screen. Stepanak says the percentage of his students with failing grades was cut in half after adopting the digital library, which also lets them share notes and watch videos. Among those coming off at Moda, plan to the big this shift to digital by schools has caught the attention of companies like Amplify in Brooklyn, New York, also trying to raise student achievement with technology. We're building new digital curricula that use interactivity and games and social simulations to get kids learning in new ways. After four years of development and testing, Amplify is now rolling out its digital curriculum in more than 40 public middle schools all over the country, along with its tablets, loaded with media like this game that goes inside the human body. Successfully attacked the virus. There is a new digital world where kids have to become digital citizens. They have to be able to use social tools to learn. They have to be able to interact with content in ways that really are different than 20 years ago. Amplify is helping teachers become digital citizens too, providing them with detailed lesson plans. Back at Stepanak, Murphy says that's an important step too. As a teacher, it allows you to flip your classroom so that the, t that the students can do more of the basic learning and basic skill set and review at home, then they can come in and you're not lecturing anymore. Not every classroom in America can look like this now, but the possibility and the promise of digital learning is here. Hibacanso, CBS News.